Good morning, it's Melissa from Little Kosher Lunch. It's a Monday morning and I wanted to give you a sense of what we're working on today for both a lunchbox as well as preparing for the week in general for lunches, cleaning out the fridge, using the new groceries that I bought yesterday and preparing for dinners for the week. So this morning I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you some of what I'm working on in the kitchen. It's early. And so, just so you're aware, yesterday I showed a little video about um, the items we purchased at the farmer's market. So we have lots of nice fresh produce, but I also need to use up what was in the fridge. So these are last week's cucumbers. Um, I have a, just a dab of pickles from our cucumber pickles, or refrigerator pickles from last week. We're gonna use up the old pickles this morning and in today's lunch, and I'm using last week's cucumbers up so that they don't get slimy in the bin in the refrigerator. And I'm just slicing those and putting them in vinegar this morning, which is gonna preserve them, make them useful for the week for more pickles pickles and then they don't go bad. I have last night's orzo which is just simple and tossed with oil and salt and so I can pack that up in today's lunch and I have from the farmers market this adorable little space alien of a kohlrabi. He's so cute. We cut off the leaves and cooked them for dinner last night. I'm going to peel it and slice it for dipping with ranch dressing today. I also have this cute little turnip that's super sweet and fresh from the farmer's market and a little itty bitty clementine ranch dressing always uh, makes these things go down really easily in my daughter's lunch. Over behind me, I want you to see my giant soup pot. All of the trimmings that are the kinds of uh, veggies that you would put in soup, those go into my soup pot. Um, I have in my freezer at all times a bag where I keep the ends of onions, carrot peels, the tops of celery. If I carve a chicken for dinner one night, I put all of the chicken bones into the bag in the freezer and those things get saved until a day like today when I'm going to have soup. Um, so I boiled the things last night, made space in the freezer, uh, made it a chicken stock last night and it's been cooling. This morning I'm going to drain it and then this week we are delivering a meal to another family with a new baby and so we're going to have lentil soup and have some for us and some to give away. Very quickly, I want to show you what's in the fridge. Um, again, yesterday I did a little video on what we got at the farmer's market, which might be helpful to inspire you to try some new veggies in your lunchbox. But here we have the asparagus, asparagus that I bought and sauteed with the garlic and olive oil. It's ready as a leftover or to pack in lunch or to mix with eggs in the morning. I have the tops of the kohlrabi that I, again, washed, chopped, and sauteed. They are delicious. No waste on the kohlrabi. Leftover grapes. I have tofu if I need some protein in a pinch. I have broccoli that I cooked soft and blanched for the baby. I have hot dogs for hot dog octopuses. I have uh, organic beef for beef burgers. I might make them in a little heart shape this week for Valentine's Day. We have lots of berries, mushrooms, tons of eggs. We go through tons of eggs. And then in our produce drawer, I have a very special um, item, which is rhubarb. I can mix that with my strawberries for a treat this week. The rhubarb I like to simmer in water um, with sugar, lemon, and a little vanilla. I have another cute kohlrabi, some more turnips, cabbage, carrots, Carrots, lots of goodies. Um, so those are a few little treats that I wanted to share with you and give you inspiration for your week. If you're looking for more lunch ideas, head over to the Little Kosher Lunch blog. I'm always sharing uh, the lunches I'm packing and I have lots of recipes on here with tutorials. So if you wanna make hamantaschen or latkes, um, give a look around. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.